In the slightly austere classroom of Potion's master, Professor Slughorn, amidst simmering cauldrons and the slight whiff of acrid frog brains, you'd notice a peculiar figure. This isn't one of the usual gang of mischievous students, nor is he the typical bookwormish Gryffindor, meticulous Hufflepuff, eloquent Ravenclaw, or ambitious Slytherin. He's distinct, unique. This, dear readers, is Obsidian Blackwood, the newest addition to the bustling array of students at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. Obsidian, fondly known as Sid by his peers, attends his class in relative anonymity, his gleaming hazel eyes perpetually hidden behind the brim of his worn-out hat, a memento from his grandmother. Obsidian is tall for his age, his lanky frame often hunched over texts that span the esoteric, or cradling his toad juniper, a creature as cryptic and misunderstood as Obsidian himself. He is a rare pure-blood wizard, the last descendant of the ancient and elusive Blackwood family. As eccentric as his lineage sounds, it's Sid's peculiar abilities that set him apart. Sid can talk to magical creatures, an ability that remains a rarity even in their magical world. His unparalleled knack to understand and converse with magical creatures has earned him the involuntary title of Beast Whisperer among his classmates, a title he faces with an uncomfortable mirth. On most days, after his potion classes, Sid could be found by the Black Lake, murmuring softly to the giant squid, or maybe in the forest, soothing a ruffled hippogriff. His demeanor remained consistent, calm, grounded, and startlingly serene for a boy of his age. His knowledge of magical creatures eclipsed that of even some of the teachers, resulting in a mixture of awe and apprehension from his peers, since Sid's arrival, rumors have started to spread around the Hogwarts corridors. Some say he's a reincarnated Merlin, while others think he is a secret agent of the Ministry. Every student attempts to unmask the mystery surrounding the quiet boy. Even the sorting hat took a pause when it had to decide Obsidian's house. But eventually the fold settled into a grin as it loudly declared, Ravenclaw? And so, the boy with a tendency for the entirely unfamiliar began his journey in the castle we all know and love. Much like the shifting shadows in the Forbidden Forest, Obsidian Blackwood remained a shifting figure in the Hogwarts tapestry, a prophetic whisper in the wind, a quiet smile behind a dusty hat, an echo of the magic that pulses in the veins of Hogwarts, waiting for his narrative to unravel, there's a certain charm in the unknown, and Obsidian Blackwood, in all his subtly peculiarity and disarming nobility, embodies it perfectly.